Oregon, it was really where I learned very quickly not only what the term minority is, but how it's used in, in a subtle way of oppression because, you know, the majority of the world is people of color, but yet the term minority is used, particularly in Oregon because, you know, we're less in number, but I think the assumption is there nonetheless that we have less and that we are less. And that just blew my mind. Uh, I remember thinking that really clearly and when I first moved here. You know, my mom always worked two, three jobs and she was really proud of being able to put enough food on the table every week and I think economic justice is something that we don't we didn't really see growing up but it was something that we always strived for and it was always something that we understood as a necessity for our family to stabilize out of poverty and out of this I call it survival mode and I'm really grateful that my family instilled that in me. One of the biggest challenges for me as I transitioned to Oregon was um, the systems of oppression and the blatant racism that I often unfortunately encountered because again, it, it shapes you down to the bone. And it really, for me, was a reminder of how I was different. And so to pivot from that, I think the opportunities are being able to understand our self-worth and our community's worth collectively as people who have grown this state and this country on our backs and with our kids and with our grandparents. A few years ago, I survived a pretty traumatic experience it was a challenge every day to feel normal and to feel like I could interact with the world and go to work and study and be with my family. And for me, I always tell people it wasn't me that picked myself up by my bootstraps and kept going. It was my community. I would hope that my niece and my nephew and my cousins, when they feel like the racism is too much and the violence is too much and the oppression is unbearable, that they remember our stories and they find our courage. Before any of those, I would have said that I was an excellent listener. <laughs> and I think that Unidos has showed me the many areas of growth that I have in communication as as part of my leadership, and I've really appreciated the ability to be still. Mm -hmm.